Hand compaction of concrete. Hand compaction of concrete is generally adopted for small concreting works and unimportant works. Sometimes, this method is also used where a large quantity of reinforcement is used, which cannot be normally compacted by mechanical instruments. When hand compaction is to be adopted, the consistency of concrete should be maintained at a higher level. The thickness of the concrete layer is maintained between 15 to 20 centimeters. Hand compaction is done by rodding, ramming or tamping. Rodding is poking of concrete with rod of length up to 2 meters and 16 millimeters diameter to pack the concrete between the reinforcement and form work. Rodding is continuously done over the complete area to effectively pack the concrete and expel the entrapped air. Occasionally, instead of the iron rod, bamboos or cane is also used for rodding purpose. The next type of hand compaction is ramming. Ramming of concrete should be done with sufficient care. Ramming is commonly done for unreinforced foundation concrete or in ground floor construction. Ramming should not be done in place of reinforced concrete or in the upper floor construction, that is concrete is placed in the formwork supported on struts. If ramming is done in above mentioned cases, reinforcement present may be disturbed or the formwork may fail. The other method of hand compaction is tamping. Tamping is the usual methods adopted for compacting the roof or floor slab or road pavements where the concrete thickness is less and the surface to be finished smooth and leveled. Tamping is done by beating the top surface by a wooden beam of suitable size. Since the tamping bar is long it not just compacts the concrete, but also levels the surface across the entire width. That's all about hand compaction of concrete, next video is on compaction by, vibration. Still then, stay curious. Kindly do like, share, comment your views and finally don't forget to subscribe our channel.